than a girl with a gun Who loves the outdoors and was born to run Ain't nothing better than a girl that hunts She chases her dreams and knows what she wants God love them, God bless them Let's ride girl, go get them It's alright cause I know the road Walk without a map, say where to go So let it walk, let it walk You gotta take the shot or you never know So we just got to Brazzaville in the Congo and it's been quite the experience I was in the airport. I didn't don't have my binos, my shoulder pad, no ammo. This is like one of the biggest hunts of my life. Thought I was gonna have a moment there. <laughs> but we've just been looking and it's crazy. It's just so different and um, definitely not anything you'd see in the States. But the views are amazing and we're meeting some really cool people and we're excited. So gonna turn this around and we're gonna have a great trip. No matter if I have ammo or not, I'll find another gun. What happens when the airline loses your luggage? You buy stuff, stuff that you can't read. Open up his mouth and search for ammo. Actually, that looks good. Yeah, I need toothpaste. I do have a toothbrush. We're we going to drive to Wezu uh, this afternoon. So we're looking forward to that. How many hours are we driving for? Um, it's going to be, um, I think, almost like 24 hours. Uh, it's, uh, will we stop along the way? Or? We will, yeah, but there's no places. We'll, we'll take all our snacks and stuff with. Interesting first day. <laughs> the driver decided to service his truck in the ghettos somewhere in the middle of Brazzaville. And all this because the government cancelled our flight. The flight got cancelled. The flight got cancelled. And then the second set of flights that we're supposed to be on tomorrow, the, the government, government stopped it. Yeah, they stopped yeah. it or something, so that also went down yeah. the drain. We lost, they, they forgot lost our, our luggage, luggage in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. And then they lost my luggage permanently. Just my nothing. gun is my gun oh. and it fits me perfect and I'm so comfortable with it. And this is a huge hunt and now I'm going to have to do it with someone's gun that I've never shot before. So, and with my shoulder being hurt, that makes it a little, that's why I was so upset. Yeah. I was more upset about the hunt. I can replace all that stuff. I just want to make sure this hunt goes Yeah, it's right. going to be a whole different challenge. This yeah. is going to be different from anything yeah. you guys have done. Yeah. It's pretty fun though. It's it actually, it's, interesting. it's entertaining. It's interesting. We've been driving through the jungle for several hours and just stopped to buy gas. It's sold in empty liquor bottles, which is apparently an everyday thing around here. We've been driving for about eight hours. I think we're about 320 kilometers from the town that we're going to and one of the trucks broke down. <laughs> we're here in the middle of nowhere, um, waiting for the shop to open. It's not quite six in the morning. Just been bumpy and stopping. It's been raining. And... But look at these views. You know, usually when we come to Africa, we've been where everybody's speaking Afrikaans and we have people around us um, that can translate and speak English. and. Now, everybody's speaking French, and uh, between all of us, there's about five words that anyone can speak in French, so we have no clue what our drivers are saying. But it's really cool. I mean, it's experience, and so I'm loving it. This is really cool. We just got to the middle of the earth, probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, we are at the equator, and this is handmade by the locals, and the town, if I'm pronouncing it right, is called Makua. As the journey continues through the jungle, it takes its toll on everyone, including the truck. Broken down in the middle of the jungle. We're lost in translation. They don't understand us, we don't understand them. While Cappy is fixing the truck with his Leatherman, <laughs> Karen and Jen decides to make the best out of a bad situation. Come on, <laughs> Road comes to a dead end here at Shanga River. We meet up with our PhD on Rue of Congo hunting safaris. Crossing the river with a ferry into the rainforest, this is also where the picnic people can be found. We're going to the Congo to shoot a bongo with Karn and Tanya in oh, from Africa. Africa. Cha, 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 cha. We're topping up on supplies in Wezu, as it's the last big village we'll find before reaching camp. 
we take some time to enjoy the local culture and people before heading out. Jen Adams is a country girl, with her cowboy boots plowing through the unknown. The spitfire pistol of the Guns duo, she's loud, rowdy, fearless, and the life of the party. But don't let her fool you. She has the business sense of girls with guns. She can chomp the numbers as good as she does her chew. She is the first to lead the team out of a plane, off of a bridge, or any leap of faith that comes their way. Narissa Harmon, she is the mama of the group the sensitive one who appreciates the beauty of life. She's had to fight for everything she has ever had, and because of that, her character is as strong as Oak. Though a little more reserved, she is still the creative heart of the Girls With Guns duo. She will be the first to question anything outside of her comfort zone, but don't get her wrong. Her faith is strong, and she too, with a little convincing, steps out into the wild journey. Emmanuel Cap, better known as Cappy, has had many hunting excursions all over the world filming nature and culture. Cappy is the experienced leader of the ladies. He is a wild spirit and full of humor, just waiting for the next opportunity to make everyone laugh out in the field. He's patient enough to wait for the girls while they put their makeup on, strong enough to guide them through the unknown. Aries, Jen and I have been out for two days and we're gonna start hunting. And this is our my PH Vion. So Vion, can you just tell us and our viewers a little bit about what we're gonna do? And after just going out this afternoon, just to have a quick look, um, go around and look at the area, and maybe we're lucky we can see some bongo today and some other animals as well. We saw some fresh tracks this morning. Yep. That was nice. exciting. And as you can tell, it's starting to rain <laughs> and thunder, and uh, you did say that this is a good time to start hunting, right? right? Guess what? It's raining, and guess what comes out after the rain? The, the bongos. bongos. <laughs> We're gonna shoot Beyond's 338, and um, so I'm testing it first off to see how strong it kicks because Jen's shoulders are a little bit hurt. Okay, better. How was it? Yeah, this one. The kick is is good. For, for such a high-powered bullet, yeah. um, I expected that to kick a lot harder. And um, as you can see, it's smoking because it's raining. Vion's letting me use his 338, and Narissa tested it out. It has a silencer, which we can't use in California, so pretty excited about that. It has um, about 30% less kicking. Is that right, Vion? About 50% 50, 50 less than normal. Okay. A 250 grain bullet and um, barns X in it, so it's quite a heavy bullet, but um, very comfortable to shoot. So we were out just getting ready to go bongo hunting, and our trackers stopped us because right ahead is a big gorilla. It's such an honor and a privilege to be able to see something so beautiful in the wild. We're watching this gorilla and Cappy's sneaking in on him a little bit closer, so I'll show you guys. Leon, tell us about the main road. Oh, this is one of the more open roads. It just stopped raining now, so if you see tracks, it will be fresh tracks, and sometimes you see the bongo going that way. You stop, and you start following the track, and you'll still find him in the road, browsing on the side of the road. That makes it quite easy. So we just saw a yellow-back diker. It ended up being a female, and it came about 10 or 15 yards from us before she even realized that we were there. And uh, Cappy was able to get out and get some good footage of her. It was really exciting. And Nurse and I just can't believe these animals. I mean, they're they're coming out because it's been raining all day. And so what we're being told is that they like to come out to the road so they can try and get dry. So we've got some fresh tracks and that's what we're gonna be looking for. Just been down the road, a little bit down on 
not sure what it was. It looks big. That looked big guy. The Vian spotted the bongo. It just rained and now it's finally stopped. So because of that, we're able to see the fresh tracks a lot better. We're just setting up because we're waiting for him to hopefully he can he'll come out and present himself again. My heart's pounding because I know we have one shot at this. Vian, yes. boss lady Karen, Hi. and my friend Jen. So Vian, what are we gonna go out and check? We saw some tracks this morning. Yes, we yesterday we followed the bonga just up the road, mm -hmm. went into the forest and the same track came out. But we saw this next track coming down there. So we unfortunately missed it last night. came through the jungle and there was a big little tunnel of stuff that we were going through. And now we just came at the end of this and as you can see, it's so beautiful. There's so much brush and so many bushes and that they would lead to something like this. The open spaces, they call that the young brush and the base. Open space in the forest where some animals come in and mostly you'll find the buffalo here. Yeah? Mm. And like your giant forest arc and the species that goes into the water and maybe graze around the edges of the bay. Well, there wasn't anything in here, but we did see some movement over in the brush. But, um, so we're gonna head back and check out another couple spots. Good look at them. So we stopped the vehicle and we all jumped out to try to see if they were females or males. Sure enough, there were, they were said that there was about four of them, but the wind isn't in our favor right now, so maybe next time, hopefully. So it's almost 5 a.m. So we yep. got up extra early for the bongos this morning. Got up at 3.30? Mm-hmm. 3.30 and uh, I don't think I'm still awake yet. So a little bit quiet, but we've got a new guest, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you. She's joining us and it um, should be a, a good day. We, we had found a... these bongos are pretty elusive. They're hard to find in the jungle. Mm -hmm. But Vion says, nah, they should be good. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll up. find them. Today is our day. Definitely. Oh, no, I'm quite positive for today. Let's yeah. see. So, day three of hunting, and um, the jungles kind of got a hold of me. Last night, I had asthma super bad because of how humid, super humid and moist, and that combination just made me have like such a bad asthma attack that I was got a little worried because, you know, there's no hospitals around here. And um, luckily we have a satellite phone, but that initial thought of it got me a little bit worried. We just spotted a bongo, so we're gonna head out. Everybody's ready, excited, and ready. So let's head out. So unfortunately, this one got away, but it's okay because he's a young bull. That was just that one, and I thought maybe it's a bigger yeah. one. Yeah. And it was still a young bull. Yeah. The wind is also yeah. in the wrong direction. Yeah. Huh? It's just blowing down, and I think he smelled that. Cool. Sportsman's Warehouse is your one-stop convenient place to shop. Whether you're into camping, hunting, or fishing, our expert associates can help you find the gear you need. 
We carry a huge assortment of quality equipment from the best manufacturers in the country and around the world. We have guns, ammo, rods and lures, not to mention every kind of outdoor clothing for the whole family. You can shop in one of our fully stocked stores or visit us online at sportsmanswarehouse.com. Come to Sportsman's Warehouse and take it outside. With Guns Clothing, we've developed some awesome hunting boots. The Huntress, available in insulated or non-insulated, and the Tigress, available in insulated. GWG Corner, brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. It's our fourth day hunting, and um, these bongos are a little bit elusive, and you know, they come out when it's storming, and unfortunately yesterday it really wasn't raining for us, but you know, we're hoping that it'll start raining I have that. Oh. There is a false <laughs> hot. I eat all the time. It doesn't matter what country I'm at. We just spotted a blue tiger. We're really close. To Maybe 20 yards. Finally spotted a good bongo. It's started raining. This is our fifth day hunting. And uh, whew, what a tough, tough little hunt. But hopefully we can get the job done. It's a decent bongo. Jen and Vion, they ended up seeing him and he was about, uh, the horn was about 24 inches. So he's about four years old, we're figuring. So, all right, let's go. We're gonna head out into the rain. Big, big storm. Right now it's pouring down rain, just got a storm. And this is the best weather for hunting bongos. He was literally 150 yards from where we're at right now. Yeah. Ran off into the jungle and we come up into this line, hoping that he comes back out. They like to come out in the road and stay away from the rain, they said. There's a lot of um, food for them to eat off the side of the road, so that's why they kind of like hang on the side. But man, we're beautiful. Hope we can get one in. See that super. We sat in the blind for about an hour, two hours, while the rain, rain's starting to kind of trickle out. Trackers spotted them. This is like, get behind us, run, go after it, and just wow, what an experience. I what just, was going on up here? Because I, I couldn't hear you guys. Oh, he was just trying to talk me through it and make sure. But you see, there's this little tree, there's a little tree that comes straight out, and it does this little like U shaped thing. And man, right when he was coming to the side, 
I couldn't see. I said, there is a leaf in it. There is a leaf right there. I'm going to hit the leaf. And he says, he's, we were just kind of talking it through. And he said, you know, just wait till he turns. Wait till he turns. Well, Jen, got the bongo. Awesome. The bongo, the most uh, sought after animal in Africa, you know. Um, to it's have beautiful. To have this opportunity to, to get this animal so early, you know, on just recently hunting here and to be able to be so young and to be a woman, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor. Universal Hunter Magazine, for the hunter who loves to travel. Find us at www.universalhunter.com. I got a bongo in the Congo. <laughs> <laughs>